wheelhouse or why I don't think it's so bad all you want to do is say poems for Sam. The room is spinning. Not like a top, more like the center of the earth or a potter's wheel where things are being slowly shaped into grace. We are tapping away, silk words flowing through our fingers into the keys we sift and search and braid here under your umbrella. Our storm fronts merge into one and we are both reaching for that same brass key meant to glow electric, teasing out the lightning from the dark. Here is permission for my scramble my flightless attempts at the sky. Here, at the switchblade's edge, there is nothing you can afford except the mattress on the floor, a hanging light bulb, whitewashing <laughs> bruised walls into shadow, smoke you keep hiccuping like pills. You tug at your beard, steering that ship body always forward toward the screen. You say again and again, hey, can I read you something? I think it's almost done. The room is spinning. Outside, someone else's dog is nipping at its hinges, begging to be let into this space he cannot see, and so is full of every desirable thing. But it's just us in here. Shoes sprinkled across the beige nap of the carpet, books splayed open over every possible surface, two fools muttering to themselves in the half-dusk. The stack of dishes on the metal filing cabinet in the corner, collecting ash as though it ripened in the air. The spread of your sweater on the tangled knot of laundry in your second chair, me, slouched against the wall, feet hanging off the bed, wrestling my avoidance somewhere, a radio, or a band practice, or a living room pregnant with cackling drunks leaks in through the open window and we both crumble. I ask you to turn the music up or down, or to play something else, anything at all. I am halfway through this line, and I just need to land it right. Can you help me? Am I saying this the way you've always heard it before? The room is spinning the way gears might. And neither of us knows we're driving it, or on what road, how big the machine, or the destination. You cannot know how much of my hope is a byproduct of your suck tooth typing. I had no idea I would come to rely on all of that bright pouring out of your hands. We are doing the only thing we know how. Aping a dance undesigned and without guarantee. We are ceremony, minus the script. The word, before you know what sounds to dress it in, you beat the ash into your palm, shake it out over your socks, pack your next round while you listen to my stumble. The image is a fever breaking between us. I brace myself against your belief in the poem and press forward. The night is too long to do anything but write, and then keep writing. The room doesn't make me dizzy, except when I realize why I barely notice the tilt and slide of its spin. This is my planet. This is where I come to hunt and gather, to discover the flickering possibility in my own mind. This is where I will remember the first blossom of proof tearing from me, an accidental flare against the inky night. This room contains every desirable thing. And everywhere I end up after it will just be this room again its best parts. This room will not last forever, but it will be at my center until I sputter out.